This series is brought to you by Globe Plants. Welcome back team. We are diving into part three today with objects. Now, Twinmotion has a variety of different objects, so we're gonna get right into it. Again, if you're joining us for the first time and you're just seeing this amazing model and thinking, how do I get my hands on it? There is a link down below, completely free, so you can grab it and join along. So let's talk about the objects available to us directly in Twinmotion and then we'll move on to the objects we can find on the internet as well. So first of all, on the left-hand side of the palette, you're gonna have your objects. If you dive into objects simply by clicking once, you're gonna get a variety of different elements. We'll go through these one by one because again, this is a very thorough course to make sure that you're an absolute pro. So diving into home, we're gonna have a variety of amazing things. To be able to showcase this better, let's fly inside our house. Let's turn on our little pedestrian mode. So by clicking the eye, tapping our man, going pedestrian mode, we are now at human scale and we can't accidentally go outside of our actual environment. Now let's click on living room and see what options we have. A billion and one options again. So, so many options. But let's start with electronic appliances. Nice TV directly above our fireplace here in the center. So let's click it once. Click it onto where we want to fit it and then press escape to get rid of it. If the TV is too small, we can select our TV once, hit the tab button slowly to adjust through the different options. Press tab again, we get our three squares with the fourth being in the center, which allows us to scale. Like we did before, if we want to drag that out to 1.3, drag that out, make that TV bigger, we simply can or command Z, command Z undoes that. We can simply hold and hover over the center so it highlights all of the cursors and go tap 1.5, enter, and we have a huge, huge TV. Now we can also use any of the intermediate spaces in between these arrows to move them along that axis as well. So now we have this stunning TV with a strange reflection of the sky, but we'll get to that a little bit later of how we can get rid of that horrendous sky reflection because you wouldn't have a sky reflecting off a TV there at all. If we scroll through our abundance of objects, you'll see a ton keep coming up. And in Twin Motion, they've recently added even more fantastic items that you can simply download directly into Twin Motion. So if you didn't like that TV that was on the wall, you could pick another one of these TVs or potentially maybe you wanted to download a tablet. So let's select that little download arrow let the tablet download for a few seconds. Click on the tablet once, hover over where we want it to be created, click once again, and it will create that tablet on the side. So now I can press escape, zoom to my tablet, click on it, adjust it to where I want it to be. So let's say one of the kids has accidentally left it just on the side, it could get bumped, it could get knocked, but they've left it there and we're showcasing it in our render. If we come back across, we're gonna see a variety of additional objects available to us as well. So if we wanted to go into sofas, we could introduce a sofa couch directly in front of us. However, personally, I hate every single one of these objects into Emotion as a sofa. They're all so generic, they're also boring, and they're incredibly, incredibly cheap. So we could continue to go through each and every single one of these, look at all the kids' toys, you know, have some fun, find some entertainment system, put a pool table in if we wanted to, there is actually a designated space over here for a pool table. So we would definitely be putting one of these in. What kind of pool table should we put in? I personally don't love any of them, but this one is the best because it's got a black top. So let's download this pool table. Wait a few seconds for it to download. Click once, click again to create the object and position it exactly where we want it to go. That looks like it's definitely not in the center of the room. The center is roughly where this window is and aligned with the fire pit. So that's roughly where the center and the pool table would go if we were to have one and you'd be able to see people playing a lovely game of pool behind. Now we've gotten sidetracked from the main points here. We wanna come all the way back to our main library. And we wanna talk about the second available option in Twin Motion. If you come down to Sketchfab and select Sketchfab once, again, you're gonna have an abundance of categories to work your way through and it will drive you nuts. But if we wanna simply go on furniture and home, select it once, you'll see I've downloaded a ton of different objects in the past 
and they're automatically saved to my twin motion. So because I've used all of these in the past, they're immediately there. I don't have to download them again. I don't have to search for them. They just come up as first, which is really, really good and really helpful. Now, let's say I was looking for a sofa, I was looking for a couch. You could also just simply type in sofa up the top, let it do its thing, see what it can find, and it will show you a million and one different examples of sofas. Basically, anything that anybody has ever created on Sketchfab is available to download for free, which is phenomenal. It means you can find sofas from Ikea, you can find sofas from your favorite designer, you can basically find anything under the sun that's available if you search hard enough. And that's the big if because it takes a long time to go through all of these options. So if we undo that and let's drag and drop one of these sofas that I've used in the past. Let's grab this sofa here, drop it in the middle in front of that TV. And then I'm simply just gonna duplicate it across. So by pressing tab, I can then hover over the green arrow because I wanna shift it to the left. Hold shift while clicking and dragging letting go and it will produce a copy a dialog box. If you create an instance copy, that means anything that you do to the right hand sofa or the original sofa is immediately going to translate to the copy that you've made. This works vice versa for both and basically everything that you use this copy function for. If you select copy, they will work independently of each other, which makes life super easy, but also challenging. So make sure you're selecting the right instance or copy every single time and paying attention. This sofa needs to be the same, so let's go instance, let's press OK. Let's rotate it 180 degrees. And then let's simply adjust this sofa back into the other one, move it across a little bit, so we have this unique double-sided sofa. By holding command and clicking on the second couch, I can select them both at the same time and move them wherever I want to. Go back to my main sketch fab and type in coffee table. You can type in multiple words and it will search them as individual words. So you may have some weird, strange things pop up like this car, but otherwise you should generally get most of what you're looking for. I have no idea what this house would look like inside. I haven't really thought about it too much. So let's simply just download any of these tables here, maybe this glass table here would be quite lovely. I had this happened during this tutorial because it's a prime example of a few of the glitches inside Twinmotion. I've pressed the download button, but nothing is happening. It's only 524 kilobytes, so it should have downloaded in a heartbeat, but it's basically glitched. I can't download it, I can't pause it, I really can't do anything. And unfortunately, at the moment, I don't have a workaround for anybody which means you have to simply go find another coffee table that you like, download it and use that one. So let's try download this one as an alternative. And you'll see it started downloading as well as provided the pause option. Whereas if I scroll back up, that one hasn't moved at all. Now this takes me to my third and final library inside Twin Motion. Obviously you have your cars and you use the library and your characters. So if you go into characters, you can drag and drop any of the people into your scenes. If you go into your vehicles, you can drag and drop any of the cars into your scenes. Similar in Sketchfab, you have vehicles and you have characters and creatures. So you can drag and drop very specific high-end cars into the project as well. You just simply search them and go ahead and download them. However, you also have the Megascans library. Now the Megascans 3D assets are actually scanned objects from the real world. As an example, let's go into interior, let's go into furniture, and let's go table. You'll see a number of different tables have come up and available to us. In theory, Megascans is all about realistic, high quality objects from the real world scanned into the digital world. They're basically creating digital twins of everything available. Therefore, objects will be of significantly greater quality and detail, but they're not gonna have too many options and a lot of them are gonna be just so strange that you're not gonna wanna use them. As an example, let's drop this wooden table in, go back to our drone mode so we can inspect it quite closely, and you'll see that it is an extremely well-detailed table. It isn't really like it's been modeled because there's so many strange little curves, undulations, changes in the material. 
and that's because it has been 3D scanned, which is incredible. That is such a cool thing that you can do nowadays. You can take your iPhone, you can scan any material, and you can actually develop it yourself into twin motion if you're using the right apps. But let's delete that table, go back to some of our other options. Maybe we want a fireplace. Maybe there's something amazing that we can put in. If you're in an old heritage building, these would be incredible. But for the purpose of this, not so much. You can also find things like details in extremely intricate wall panels, wall detailing, very historic and exquisitely crafted items that unfortunately we no longer do. But this is where you're going to find them inside the Megascans library. Now, if you've ever asked yourself, what is the difference between a high quality render and an average render you see all over Instagram? Well, the difference is the quality, the care and the assets. That's why I've teamed up with Globe Plants to be able to give you an incredible library of the world's best 3D photorealistic vegetation, trees, shrubs and everything in between. I've used Globe Plants for a very long time now. You've seen them in my videos before. And finally, we've come together to be able to actually bring you a series worthwhile. So if you're looking for some incredible 3D plants, regardless of where you are situated around the world, it doesn't matter if you're in America, Australia, Africa, Europe, they've got all of the plants available for every single person around the globe. So make sure you check out Globe Plants in the description down below. The link is there for your convenience. Moving on outside of Twinmotion now, if we come across to our actual browser, whatever you're using, Safari, Chrome, it doesn't matter. It's literally on the internet. You're gonna have a variety of different places. You can find some awesome stuff to add into your project. Of course, you're gonna be able to find things from Globe Plants, which is the series sponsor for this Twin Motion tutorial and full course. So please do check them out. There is a link in the description down below. And if you wanted to download any extremely high quality plants, you could find it right here on Globe Plants. For example, this fiddle leaf tree right here is absolutely stunning. The details are exquisite. And to be honest, it's basically in every Australian's house. So it is almost a staple for anybody in Australia creating 3D renders. We can dive into 3D Sky. 3D Sky, to the best of my knowledge, used to be a Russian website that's kind of been converted into 3dsky.org. But it is an incredible resource with some amazing high quality 3D models. The downside is not everything is free and you can only get three free downloads per 24 hours. So if I wanted to cite, search for dining table, first of all, I could spell it right with one N and you see there's some incredible stuff. Things that you see in those high quality renders that people are charging hundreds of thousands of dollars for. And if you download one of these once off, you can have it forever. I like to simply hit the little free tab Scroll down and select FBX because Twin Motion works the best with FBX files. And then try and find a table that I like. You can literally pick anything that you like and download it relatively quickly and free of charge. I don't love any of these tables, so I'm not even going to try find something that's amazing. Let's simply scroll up, pick this table here, and you're going to have to sign in or create an account. So I'm going to sign in. And then I'm gonna hit the free download button. For me, it's downloaded as a RAW file. So all I need to do, double click, it'll open up. What you will notice in this unarchiving screen here that I've dragged across the file name is like I mentioned before, you've got some Russian letters because it's probably a Russian website, but it also straight up lied to us. It said there'd be an FBX file and it's only providing us a 3ds max and an obj file we can still use the obj file so we can definitely export that out but unfortunately we didn't get our xbf file so now that we've exported all of these items we can come back into twin motion we can dive down into our import file press the plus button come across to geometry and go open find the table in your downloads file and you'll see only the obj file is active so let's click on that, let's open it up and import. On the right hand side on the scene finder, if you scroll across to the bottom, select table, 
and pan around until you see the main cursor. You can hover over this yellow sphere in the middle, drag and drop it roughly in front of you, tab across and scale the object accordingly. The problem with OBJs in twin motion is first of all, they import the wrong way, they import the wrong size. So you have to do quite a lot of work to make them actually appear as they need to. Personally, what I do is I delete that table. I would go back to 3D Sky, use another one of my free downloads. Let's try this one, download it. Go through that same process, find the FBX file this time, open that up and import it into our project. Now that table will reappear. It'll be a much better size. It is the correct scale, the correct format. Rotate it around. Once again, unfortunately, those textures didn't come across exactly as we need them to be. It's mainly the timber that didn't come into play. So we'll select those wood legs, go texture, go open, import the wood, and there we go. Now we have our wooden table exactly as pictured, but not perfect. So unfortunately, when you're playing with free 3D models, you don't get the best of the best. You kind of have to work around it, make it work. But otherwise, when you're playing with paid objects, it is so much easier. If you wanted to go through, work your way through all of these rooms, obviously there's a couple bedrooms in here, another bedroom, a master suite with some cabinetry, potentially an additional gymnasium in the rear, your bathroom, all sorts of stuff happening in this model. You can go ahead, add it all in. So as one final example, if we were to go to Sketchbab, we were to go back into our furniture, we can drag and drop this high quality bed into our project so that it appears cantilevering off this absolutely stunning bedroom at the edge. And we can continue working our way and mastering Twin Motion in the next episode.